Hello! Today I will show you how to use Zon 265 to validate HEVC streams. Launch Zon 265 and open the file you would like to check. The validation process of HEVC streams consists of three main sides of analyzing process depicted on this picture. Let's look at the Bitstream tab. It contains the NLA unit list of the file. If something goes wrong, a notification will appear near the corresponding NLA unit. Click the icon with the exclamation mark to get a list of all errors of the NLA unit. As you see, the list contains the name, its offset in the stream, the parameter bit offset where an error is found, and a link to the specific page where you can find the detail. It will be opened in a new browser window. Now let's see what kind of errors ZON65 can detect. One by one, you can expand lists of errors of slice B and sequence parameter set. Click on the first BNLA unit. The error list includes the message, there is no active VPS available, which is the specific restriction. In the same way, we will check which errors are found in the SPS NAL unit. If the parameter value is not in the admissible range, you will see this in the error description. The selected parameter should be in the range of 0 to 6, but it equals 7. Another type of error is the incompatibility of one parameter value with another, the second string. You can see the incompatible parameter and its value in the VPS NAL unit. The next type of error we see is the incompatibility of level and profile of the parameter with the given frame width. Let's decode frames one by one. Navigate from one frame to another by clicking the column depicting the frame in the frame bar tab. The fourth frame is not decoded. It contains some errors that are shown as a green area in the preview window. Scroll to the current NAL unit in the Bitstream tab. There are two types of errors here. There is no reference frame while decoding, and the coded tree unit was not decoded. The CTU block is colored in green on the preview picture. Zon 265 has the special error tab that allows conveniently viewing the list of all found errors in one place for the current frame or the whole stream. It is recommended to use the Errors tab content if you need to find all errors in a file and to sort them by their type. Now we will learn about the identification problem ability of Zon 265 that is achieved through the Coded Picture Buffer Fullness Analysis. Graphs of CPB fullness are needed to identify problems, like delays, when playing video streams over network with a small bandwidth. Overflow or underflow areas, highlighted in red, indicate a problem in the interval. Graphs can be constructed based on the Supplemental Enhancement Information, or SEI, messages that can be set manually. The SEI NAL units can be found in the Bitstream tab. The second type of graph is based manually entered parameters. There are buffer size, bitrate value, frame rate, and initial delay. Click the Rebuild button to create such a graphic. Zon265 allows you to generate reports via command line interface. This is especially useful if a video stream shall be validated automatically. Please run this command in the command line interface. You will see the running process. As a result, you get a CSV file that can be imported into any spreadsheet software or analyzed by a simple external script. The result is similar to the Errors tab content. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your projects.